Um, we were taking care of some stuff, dropping off some stuff, and um, so your dog has stolen meat before. So I usually use a leash through the window um, and chewed on leash. that she can't yeah, get off of while I'm in the car. So what she did was she shoot through it. It's like a freaking horse halter. It's not a regular leash. It's more like a really strong rope. But somebody taught her, that's how we got her, was she had chewed through somebody's leash before. So she threw, chewed through the leash, and um, I had some ham down on our food stuff in the bag on the floor. She pulled that out. And she ate three pounds of ham. It must have been in seconds. And then hid the wrapper under the bag. To make it look like I stole it. Right. No, just to make it look like she wasn't there. Searched around and finally found the wrapper, like, buried under the bag. And she is that smart. So we, we stopped, and I was mad. So I'm yelling at her. And then we pushed her out. Joe, so we, she would know. We opened the front door, had the back door opened, and I'm yelling at her to get in the back. But the door was open, so she ran off. And now uh, we're looking for her. Oh, she, yeah, she ran around here. She's in there. And I told her to just take another run. Just go, go around more time. And uh, now we can't find her. So um, we're getting okay with the idea that she may be gone permanently. Maybe. Yeah, because that's not fussing over it. Yeah. And we have the promise of a better nude, uh, starting with a puppy again some other time. Not picking up other people, you know. <sighs> it's not picking up other people's problems. We've been saving runaway dogs. And... Um, like one of the things is that when he was walking with her, she still wanted to be the scavenger and eat all kinds of junk, even though she had just eaten her food or refused to eat her food. When I was walking with her, she had just gotten to a place where she wouldn't do that. She'd keep her head up. But we were in a conflict. We were in a constant conflict. And it wasn't that she wasn't intelligent, because she's highly intelligent, but she was smart enough to play two roles. She wanted to play the the the, the, the stupid puppy with him and kind of the forgetful, I don't know, older dog with me. And, um, and Hannah's actually really old. Well, she was she was over four years old. We found that out. And her uh, like the enamel was missing on the outside of her teeth, um, which is an indicator of age and her her how her life has been. So um, yeah, we're not going to worry about that. She is microchipped and she's registered as a service dog. So we're um, you know if she shows back up, we'll talk to them and. and Maybe let them go ahead and go with them. I'm not sure. We have a friend who is a breeder for, if you're in the area, um, anybody who's like really big name, including some ministers, some... Uh, Rich people. Well, they're all affluent. They all have something. Some uh, car lot owners, some larger business owners. If you ever see their German Shepherd, they get them from my friend. So um, we've been wanting to learn more of his form and his method of training. Probably going to go to him and maybe start putting down a down payment. I'm working on getting one of his puppies when they're ready. Yep. Instead of doing something, yeah. Maybe we'll start from one of his little ones, maybe one of his big ones. No, no, no. I'd like to start yeah. from younger. Maybe not entirely puppy, but not, um, yeah. Not, How about two years old? You know, it's not so much about age. I don't want to work with a dog that has run away again. That's my kid. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that, and that was how we got her. She was saved by a family whose pit bulls terrorized her, some other stuff, so they couldn't keep her, they said. And then we worked with her, got her through the... She's ready for the CGC, capable of doing it. Um, but with me as a handler, not with her, with Joseph, excuse me, not with him. Um, we got her uh, emotional support certificate, and then we got her licensed as a Just service stop. doctor. Yeah. And, um, you know, we actually could have done some differences in how we are living at the moment, but we treated her as a member of the family. We didn't, it was, it was, you know, they do everything, but they don't take dogs kind of thing. It was like, well, she's a service dog. She's part of the family. We can't do that. And right now I'm feeling freer. It's like, okay, well, she's gone. And he has been crying and I've been like, okay, let's find the dog. We've been doing circles, but I think we're going to, we're going to pull out of here now. We're okay. Right. Okay, we're going to give the dog food away to this guy who has the other dog? Mm -hmm. And the dog food holder? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, maybe not the dog food holder. I think we should give the holder because that's what takes up the most space. 
But then if we find her next time, and then we start with a bag like we did before, and then we we you know we got the dog food holder for free from yeah we picked it up and and wasn't was it Roseville? Yeah, the lady had it outside. We just went and picked it up. It was on that that freebie thing, freebie no, site. You're right. Yeah, the things come and go. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say? So, as far as owning a dog, have we done the H's now? H's? Yeah, we're not doing H's anymore? I don't know. I don't know about that. No more H's. No J's, no H's. So, what's the H's and the J's? Well, maybe J's. There's other... I don't know. What do you mean the H's and J's? Names that start with H or J. We get moving now. Okay, we've got to yeah clean our stuff up and make it neater. One of the things is, is we like she needed a bath this this week and we smell like her constantly. Everything we have smells like dog. Yep. So we're gonna change that now. And we're you know there's actually a there's a blessing in this. We're learning to see those and be grateful for them. Right. Yeah. As long as we don't lose each other. As long as I didn't lose you. I'm good. No, I wasn't looking from behind the camera. I was holding up and it was going. You say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.